Hey everyone, it's Quentin from QB Tech, and I just thought I would try and make a some newer tutorial videos for doing QB Tech stuff and a little bit about it, in case you're not aware. Uh, QB Tech is a tech mod for Vintage Story, which is not Minecraft, but it's a very similar game, but it's completely its own separate game, its own mods. Uh, it's a very good game. And if you don't already have it, well, I'm not sure what you're doing here, but you should go buy it and then come back after you've learned how to play. Which is my first point. Uh, when do we want to start the QB Tech mod pack in our uh, gameplay? Well, I think I've built here, this is just a creative world. Uh, I recommend not like rushing QB Tech because if you can have all the cool tools and stuff, but if you don't have enough to eat or clothes or shelter and winter comes in, uh, it's not going to help you if you have a nice uh, automated plate machine if you're starving and freezing and struggling to get every bit of uh, resource you need. So I would say a good target time to start QP Tech is when you're into iron and I would say fairly well into iron like here's an iron anvil if you can get up to this spot then you definitely could start you could start a little sooner I mean the main early parts of QP Tech require a lot of bronze a lot of copper and a lot of brass actually um, I'm just cooking up some stuff here so say we've got uh, or you've got your you've got a farm decent little base going you know what to plow to play uh vintage story which is another important point like i wouldn't have your first world or two even with qp tech like you probably want to learn to play all of vintage story well not all of i just still don't even know all of vintage story but like if you're comfortable getting to iron probably even you've tried steel a few times uh so then you're probably you know you're probably at that point you are looking for something to do uh extra so that's a good time to start kippy tech or you're getting into big builds and you're tired of you don't want to go to creative but you're tired of grinding out every little thing so First thing, let's say you decide, okay, it's time to install QB Deck. Uh, you can also install chisel tools if you want fancy stuff, but uh, the first things you're going to, going to build is the primitive generator, and which is obviously you're not going to get any machines if you don't have the generator. Uh, I would also maybe, if you have lots of bronze, uh, go for the industrial oven and the fire pit stoker I already had that in my inventory uh, they go like this well let's not put that in front of the window the neighbors will complain um, you would set it up somewhat like this and so all this guy does this is basically a fire pit uh, one warning with this is it, it has a bonus, so it burns hotter than a regular fire pit. Uh, the issue comes that you can heat up iron and steel, and it will even melt steel in a crucible, but the game isn't set up to handle that, so you'll end up with a crashy block in your inventory. So don't try and do anything in the fire pit that you can't do in a vanilla fire pit. So all this guy does is tries to fill up keep this filled one at a time and you can see it's got four directions so cross my fire pit here so you could actually keep multiple industrial ovens loaded happily uh, the next thing you want to build is a primitive electric generator because uh, you can't do anything else without power generation uh, you can see there's screws. These are made on the anvil from brass. The copper is made from uh, 
keeps flicking back and forth to the old one, but rods and this pull plate, which is a reusable tool and a screwdriver, but you need a bunch of rods, which also you start with smithing. Uh, and these machine plates, which in turn require more screws and this drilled metal plate, which is basically a metal plate with four holes banged out of it on the anvil. So you can see a lot of places where you're going to want these plates, even these screws. Uh, the initial recipe on the anvil, you'll notice it's a big, wide, flat uh, layout. So sometimes it's much easier to build a lot of these things and rods as well. It's easier to make them sometimes starting with, uh, well, rods you can make with ingots, but obviously plates, you're going to use a lot of plates. So that's why I recommend starting with the uh, plate stamping machine. Well, let's put the uh, generator on there first. Um, oh, I've done it again. I need this to face. Oh, come on now. I always do this to myself. I build it in a stupid spot and then wonder why I can't do anything. Stop it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Uh, when this gets hot enough, well, this isn't starting because you also need a, a barrel of water on top. At least until you get to making a water tower which is a very convenient thing and definitely recommended, but you don't need to build it till later. This water will typically lasts quite a while. So now we got this generator whirring along and I did not leave space for the metal machine. So you can do the old school QB tech, which is these cables. This goes up, down, these link together but if you can get a bit of rubber together, which rubber is made from powdered sulfur, which you would be making, I believe in, I can't remember if it's a kern or the crushing, the crusher, the vanilla one. I think it's the kern resin and this crucible, which gets used up, will get you a couple of, uh, I forget how many copper cables you get at once, but the copper cable is a lot better then uh, let's get a couple here in the inventory because you can go straight. I've clicked on here and I'm going to click on here and then it's wired up. So I didn't have to build those old wires on every spot. I'm just going to grab an input chest. And, oh no, I want it straight. Input and output chest. So the plate stand machine. Now you might, if you have a health hammer, you might... Uh, weight on this if you're happy with your output of metal plates but let's uh grab this now why did it oh i was like why did i make that and i just remembered okay i got a bunch of uh brass so four ingots enough to make two plates so i put them in the input chest you can see it makes plates very quickly So now we have a bunch of brass. Oh, that's a bronze plate. That's why. All right. So I'll just show you quick uh, making. I need to make room in this inventory. So you're going to make a lot of metal plates. So if you have gone and built this uh, metal press, all you have to do is take the, whoops, oh dear, off to a grand start here. Uh, I know this is recoverable. I'm trying to remember how the frig I fixed this the last time I did such a stupid thing. I think, there we go. Good grief. Okay, <laughs> I didn't screw up my plate. So when you're not being dumb, you can make this with a plate and four strikes, and then you've got the hot metal plate. 
or the, the drill bit of plate. It's hot right now. Um, screws, you can see, which you, the other thing, the brass screws are going to drive you nuts at the start. But if you have a plate, uh, then it's a lot easier to, whoops, that's what happens when you're creative, you break blocks. You're going to need a lot of screws too. And of course you need metal plates for like all the other regular vanilla things that you want metal plates for. Maybe you're making some armor. There we go. So I got 12, uh, 12 brass screws. So if I, let me get myself a screwdriver. We might as well finish up this, uh, Machine plate here, so it's survival. And if I remember correctly, which I surprisingly often don't. Oh, I just blew away those screws I made. That was pretty dumb. Fortunately, we're in creative, so. Well, if I wasn't in creative, I, the screws wouldn't have disappeared either, but grab a bunch of them. They stack up quite a bit actually, so I know I have other hammers. Back to survival. There's a plate. Our screws. Our screwdriver. And we got ourselves a machine plate. So these machine plates are the, the core for the machine hull and you could see all these devices use machine hulls so that's why I recommend one of the first things you build is a metal plate because it just it saves so much pain smithing and once again if you've got to the point where you have you know double triple health hammers or whatever and you can knock out metal plates then maybe you can skip this and but the next machines I think that I would recommend building. Uh, the macerator, if you put your uh, ore chunks through the macerator, you will get extra ore for your trouble. Plus it does a lot of the other uh, kern type of stuff. Uh, the wash plant's good. It will get you bits of metal out of like sand and stuff like that. And but it will also do uh, panning recipes. So, but this one is more nice to have. The macerator is going to get you a lot more metal for your work. Oh, and also this is the hardened metal press, which is just a slight, like first you make the regular one. And then if you add the two machine plates iron, which you'll have to do this time uh, manually. But once you got that, then the purpose of the hardened one is it can make uh, iron plates and steel which you're going to need a lot of so it's worth the two machine plates to get up to uh, the hardened version so once you've got that and maybe you've got another generator built uh, then it's probably worth uh, building some of these other versions of the machine and I might replace these one day to be a single machine uh, that you can pick what you want to make but they'll if, if I do that they'll drop the new machine so it's worth building these uh, so there's a screw press and you it see it says down there it, that gets you extra screws out of a rod uh, there's the rod press, which takes the plate and gives you rods. So you can see down there, it says five to one. So that will save you from hammering out rods. And that's kind of how it goes. This will take uh, your plates and it sort of gets you one extra shoot, I think, compared to hammering 
copper out by hand and soft metal punch yeah that was this one's really a luxury one that's just putting those four holes into a plate for you which you can do yourself fairly quickly but if you wanted to automate it then you do the punch so basically that wraps up our first uh, sort of tier of of builds oh you're going to need the wire pulling plate to make the wires uh the pipe wrench you don't need yet but you will soon bronze item hatch is just a bigger chest uh eventually oh another uh handy dandy one is uh the lv heater module and what that will do is it will actually if you have a bronze item hatch and you well let's just set it up i was going to wrap it up but now it's going longer so this guy is looking for heated uh, plates so if i wanted to not use the uh the forge which there is also an electric forge that's a little easier to make but i'll show you how this works if i have enough power Let's just go from there to there. Oh yeah, we don't have enough power yet. Um, we'd have to set up more of these, but this is where I am in creative and I'm not gonna bore you setting up a whole uh, nest of electric generators. So this is a creative version and it just kicks out voltage without worrying about it. So, now if I put uh, this brass plate, it's what, at 683, so I'm going to put it in there. Oh, I forgot. Bronze item hatch. Now, this thing should start heating up whatever we put in here. Now you can see now it's up to 791. So. I could actually put uh, start putting ingots in here. Uh, let's make some bronze. Sure, why not? So you can see there, it's eighty nine. This doesn't update live, so I have to keep opening and closing it. But eventually, that'll get up heated up with this thing, and then this will automatically start making the plates. So there's higher level ones you can see here. There's a steel one that makes things even hotter, but that's more for working with steel and stuff. And so this will get you started anyways. Uh, so start with the metal press or hardened metal press. And, well, and a generator you need to get going. Um, other than that, the macerator is a really good one to build just to get some more materials early game. And also it does some grinding for you. And you get extra stuff too when you're using the macerator. So if you put the ore chunks in, you get extra out. I believe even with grains and stuff, you will randomly get a little extra for your work. So anyways, hopefully this is helpful. It's gone on a little longer than I meant it to, but uh, let me know in the comments if this is useful and we can start building out a factory. Uh, you can now actually with QP Tech get right up to steel making uh, fully automated other than you plugging the materials in. But anyways, this is where it starts. So thanks for watching.